Outlaw Sports is brought to you by Molson Canadian, made from Canada, and Rocky Mountain Barbecue, Alberta barbecue cuisine at its best. Hi everybody, welcome to the show. It was Oscar week this weekend, Grant, and not a big surprise, Mark Giordano did not win Best Acting for his commercials. Say his name again. What did I call him? It has now been changed to Giordano. Oh, okay. This is just recently, this past week. Seriously. Giordano. He says in Italian, you say Giordano. See, this okay. A, this is now, it's like when players come to Calgary, they change the name. Jeff Shantz was Jeff Shantz. Jesus. Remember that? Pollock. Sergei Mike Makarov. Lonsbrell and Grant Pollock. Mark Giordano. Okay, he's not going to win for best acting in his commercials that you see on TV. And uh, <laughs> I saw Argo uh, won the, the best picture. Uh, the, the Canadians are still pissed off about it. And they won the Grey Cup of the same year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the Argos, uh, I, I was listening to that. Ken Taylor still pissed off that they didn't portray it properly. And even Jimmy Carter, the former president Jimmy Carter, went on air and he said 90% of it, 90% of it were Canadians. 10% Americans and the CIA, vice versa in the movie. But I guess you can't have a successful American movie if the Canadians are the hero and right. holding a pilsner, hey, we're going to get you out of the country, eh? <laughs> Just follow our, take our lead, eh? That's not going to work. Now, the best script so far could be the Flames' third period last night uh, against the Phoenix Coyotes. A bizarre, bizarre game, but that third period, we talked about the Stars having to come up and grab the spotlight, and they certainly did in the, it, you know, in 90 seconds, yeah. the last 90 seconds of the game. It was great to watch. Yeah, finally, Jerome yeah. McGinley, Mike Camilleri played strong. Jay Bullmeister, too. They, they played a strong game, um, and Alex Tongay, too. We need that. Yeah. If the Flames are going to be winning, Flame fans need to see that more often. We're not seeing that more often. They were competing. Jerome Aginla wasn't getting his goal from on top of the faceoff circle, unleashing a, a nice shot. It was it doesn't right, matter. It was right inside. He, yeah, he dirty. was dirty, kind of, kind of the goals I scored in Pee Wee. No skill, just hard, hard. Kind of like your first sexual experience, as long as you were there. <laughs> <laughs> just show up. Competing. <laughs> Competing for the it was, score. It was always dirty and hard to achieve. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, but you know, it was nice to see him. And, and another guy that's come up, his play certainly a surprise to me. He was the big game winner over the weekend. I, uh, you know, uh, is Matt Stajan. The way he played against Minnesota, uh, providing two goals late in the third period. Uh, they're not crumbling like, like they, or in the last two games, they're not crumbling like they once would have. Now we got to see this more consistently sure, yeah. before I believe. Yeah. Because this is just like a girlfriend who's playing around on you, who's kind of you know, using you when uh, you know, she wants you and then uh, let you go away. Do you know anything about that? I've heard of? it. I've read that book many times. You, you started. Start, Whoa, <laughs> Camilleri, Jerome McGinnell. Look, oh, they go into Minnesota this week, they go into Colorado and they crap the bed. Yeah. So I want to see it consistently. But yes, the weekend was very good for staying on the uh, compete level that we want. Bob Hartley wants them to do. If Matt Stajan's your best forward, and Coach Hartley says he has been our most consistent best forward from the start of the season, yes, that's good, but that tells me your team can't be very good if Matt Stajan's your best forward. Well, maybe he's just playing inspired hockey, Grant. I mean, I that's, think he is. that's nice to see. And, and credit to the coaching staff for playing with those lines. And this guy who was on the fourth line last year coming up to be your main starter when you've got so many injuries and uh, he's coming up and playing well. you got to give them credit because we sure crap on him when he plays shitty. No, and he is playing strong. He's yep. playing as well as he, he's played as he's been as a flame. So when he was traded here by Toronto, he was terrible under Daryl Sutter, ter terrible under Brent Sutter. Yeah. Wasn't given the respect like Bob Hartley's giving him. Yeah. He's showing he can compete. He's playing very well. But that's and sometimes that's all it is, Grant, a little show of faith. And, you know, last night we talked about how bizarre that game is. Uh, Rafi Torres scoring two goals. He's a flame killer. He's got three in the last two games. Uh, the whole thing with stage in, in that penalty, first of all, it sets them up off for uh, a double <coughs> minor. And then he comes back on the ice, one foot in the penalty box, one on the ice, and he breaks up a play. Then he gets two more minutes. So you have to give them credit. 
Uh, and the bizarre goal that uh, Bo Meester kicked into the net, I mean, you're going, all right, here we come again. But there's a little resolve here with this team over the weekend, and you have to give them credit for that. Yeah, you do. And, uh, but they have to do it, Mike, all the time. Because if they go on the road this week and crap the bed, then where are we at right now? I still, I like their compete level. I totally agree with you, but I'm not convinced this is a team that's ready to make the playoffs the way they're built. Well, at least they're at the 500 mark as they head on this road trip, so at least there's some signs.